Hey guys, Fred here from Lean Muscle and wow, it's week three. And what I wanted to do is I'll try to keep this video under 10 minutes. So I'll basically explain and break down the three different pillars being your training, your mindset and your nutrition. They're the three things you really need to understand when undergoing a 12 week challenge. So I'll break that down quickly. So I'll start off with the training first. Now training's been pretty good. What I've done was I've separated my cardio to my weight training. So when I do my cardio, for example, I just did an hour of cardio on the stair climber, smashed about 700 odd calories. Um, I'll do that on its own. So I won't combine genuinely a cardio and weight training segment together. I mean, even low impact cardio, like going for a walk, I'll separate that from my actual weight training regime as well. So I go to another gym, I smash out uh, an hour of cardio, 45 to an hour, I'm trying for an hour uh, at each time and follow through with a sauna because I just like that whole feeling of of just that heat and, and just really zenning out if you like. So I'll do that twice a week as well. And then I'll go for a walk the other couple times a week also. And then with weight training, um, been going really good. I continue to see a trainer once a week, uh, a smash a leg session out as well, once to twice a week. Um, as we keep going, I'll probably increase the, um, the time I see him as well. And work has been flat chat. So we've been going really, really busy at our own gym as well with our own um, challenges and personal training as well. So training, yeah, some workouts are not as good as the others, but I still rate myself out of 10. And I think it's really, really important that you gotta be honest with yourself and say, you know, how was that workout? Did I give it my all? Um, and I feel like not all the time I give it my all. So that's why I've got a trainer. So having a trainer keeps you accountable as well. So I've been training, again, I separate my body parts. I'll do legs obviously on their own. I'll do chest with maybe a smaller muscle group or I'll bombard it with back, a larger muscle group, but I'll do deadlifts on its own um, and then deadlifts with smaller muscle groups like arms and things like that. Uh, shoulders, I'll combine it again with some kind of cardio type training like kettlebell swings and things like that. And for me, it's not about lifting super, super heavy weights. It's about keeping the intensity, keeping that volume up as well. So uh, the training's good. I'm happy with that. Um, I've got no injuries to report on, which is really good because your recovery is so important. Things like I talked about supplements last week, but things like taking magnesium at night is really, really good for you for sleep as well. And as you get older, it's really important to keep your mineral content up as well, especially if you're sweating a lot as well. So that's training under three minutes, which is good. Uh, nutrition, so nutrition's been on point. Um, haven't missed my rolled oats, I haven't missed my peanut butter, I haven't missed my almonds. What else did I have? A lot of fruit, haven't missed that. Um, I've just got non-negotiables. The non-negotiable number one, fasting once a week. Start at Monday lunchtime, finish Tuesday lunchtime. Really, really good switch on. You really notice it when you fast as well. Um, lean meats, every morning I get up, I have a lean meat with my sweet potato. That's my source of carbs, fibrous carbs, slow digesting. And pretty much throughout the rest of the day, it's lean meat and vegetables or lean meat and salads or whatever it might be. So um, you still, as you get older, like I'm in my 50s, it's still about calories in and versus calories out and obeying that law. And um, you know, I feel like my calorie content at the moment, while I don't count too many calories, I'm not a big believer of counting calories. I believe it's around two to two and a half thousand calories a day. Um, and that's kind of for my body weight, that's where it needs to be. Uh, I'll drop my calorie intake a little bit as I continue through this 12 week. So that's the nutrition. Um, and it's on point, it's, yeah, food's a little bit boring, but I had my birthday last week, I had my apple cake, which was good, got that out of my system. What I also find, which is really good in the morning, is to have a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar just with some water, just to drink that is really good for gut health and alkalinity and things like that. 
and also the game changer is not drinking too much coffee and having things like tachina which i talked about in week two which is really really good natural diuretic as well great prebiotic for your stomach also um, mimics coffee but is not coffee it's got chicory almond inulin which is awesome um as i said prebiotic diuretic really really good um fluids i just keep it to plain old water um i may have a shake occasionally i'm you know veering off the shake not for any reason just more just because i want to see how it feels so that's been good and great news to report i've gone from originally my starting weight of 100 now i'm 97 so i've dropped three kilos in three weeks now it's not a lot about the weight and your body weight i don't want to be too obsessed but i also had um skin caliper folds done and that's gone down as well so that's really good news i know i'm gonna stick at probably 95 and hover around there for a while until i move and budge the needle again but that's okay it's how you look uh i'm posing as much as i can as well posing takes a shit lot out of you and it's very very hard with posing as well i mean you're squeezing your muscles you're tense you're, you but it's great mind muscle connection so if you want to know more about posing um let me know but i've got clients on posing as well and posing is absolutely fantastic for you for visuality aesthetics so you can see what you need to work more on and things like that so that's the nutrition um my wife thank thankfully i'm spoiled cooks for me um you know there's no there's no junk really in our house as well because we eat really clean she eats clean it's going to be to do with volume of food and how much volume of food you're taking in as well so that's the training the nutrition and the last one the most important as well is the mindset um you know sometimes you you beat yourself up i'm not enough or i don't feel like i'm worthy or um oh, i've got a little bit of fat here or oh, i don't know if i'm ready fuck it just do it just be in the doing not in the saying and there's a lot of people that what we call armchair quarterbacks um so what they're doing is they're searching online always searching 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 but they're not doing two things testing and measuring and i'm doing those two things reading's been really good for me as well obviously my own book i'm reading um but i'm also reading a couple different books on just anything it doesn't have to be fitness related it can you can switch off sometimes and read a book on you know richard branson and and how you know he became an entrepreneur or wherever it might be so reading's been really really good as well um i'm really precious and conscious of my time as i continue doing these 12 weeks so your time is that silent thief that keeps and robbing you each and every day so your time is valuable and people got to understand your time it's such a precious precious commodity so when i say i'm valuable my time it's like i get in i do the work get out i go and do my clients do my personal training if i don't feel like i'm 100 training myself at the gym i leave i go to another gym and train i come home i need to walk i walk i get back i might have a bath might have a shower might have a snooze whatever it might be um so it's really really important to manage your time use that time to goal set use that time to move forward don't use that time to be you know in self-doubt or like i said that you're not enough so that's really really important so there you go i think i've covered it just under 10 minutes so nutrition training mindset i'm happy with my progress I rate my workouts now out of 10. I'm sometimes six, sometimes I'm eight. Very rarely am I below six. So have a look at your workouts. As I said, be honest with yourself, be transparent and have people in your corner. It's really, really important to share your goals with people because not everyone knows what you're thinking. So it's important to, you know, just tell people, hey, I've got this goal in mind. I just want to keep myself accountable to you is it okay if you text me or is it okay if i call in on you every second day or whatever it might be so you've got these um soldiers if you like keeping your best interest at hand so there you go week three i'm super super pumped i know the 
train is moving forward. I'm not moving down or back. And that's what it is. It's about moving from maintenance to progression. Have a great day. And remember each and every day, laugh with health.